If you want to do a real centrepiece, this is the real spirit of the stately homes and the kings and queens past. You've got this incredible sort of medieval yet state-of-the-art rotisserie. Some of you might be looking at this thinking, oh, I can't do that. That's too complicated. In fact, it really isn't difficult to do. And it's very, very impressive, especially when you get the results like this. The pig itself is just fed onto the rod, these two forks, just pushed in and then locked. And then all you do to set the rotisserie, this button down here, that's it. And what I love about rotisserie cooking is that you can do things like this on it, which are real centerpieces. You don't need to do 25 different types of sausages and chicken and salmon, etc., etc. This is the centerpiece, and then you can have your vegetables and garnish with it. Spit roasting meat works so well because what's happening is as the meat is turning, it's getting hotter and then it's coming around here and it's cooling down. And that heating up and cooling down gives you a much more even heat through the meat. You don't get something that's really overcooked on the outside and still a bit under on the inside. And that turning, it helps keep so much of the juices in the meat. As well as moving the coals around, if you wanted to get the direct heat away a little bit, you could also adjust these just by taking this off and then putting these down by one, two or three settings. You can bring the meat closer to the heat source. As well as that, if you want to do a spit roast chicken, maybe a leg of lamb, a whole fish, you can. I think ultimately there's something slightly medieval about this and in the 1800s the chefs in the palaces were the leading experts at roasting meat over a fire. You have the best of both worlds, a state of the art beautifully designed piece of kit and the ability to light the fire just with the press of a button, yet you've got all the benefits of a real fire and that means a real roast.